Yeah, that's really hard. So like when you're a consultant, obviously like it's you're trying to sell your expertise and your your experience. So the advantage is hopefully you've already done that kind of work. I'm sure blagging must occur um, here and there. It, it, I again trying to be open and honest and say to people, look, what you're that's that's difficult to do. What you're trying to say is difficult to do. Other people might tell you they've done it so far, like go for it. Um, I'm a big fan of putting your hand up and saying when you don't know something and sharing that risk. Like I'm happy to take risks in my job, right? If I know I'm taking them. If I don't know I'm taking them, then things get really dangerous when you assume knowledge and things like that. Trying to bring internally in stakeholders, I like so internally in my role now, I say to people, look, this is an emerging technology. This is like we're looking at Kubeflow and some of it's still in alpha. So we're like, do we really want to bake dependencies on an alpha technology into our platform? Is that really stupid, actually? Um, do we want to try and rebuild some of it ourselves? That sounds really expensive as well. These are hard decisions to make. Going in and just saying, we're using Kubeflow, that's it, let's go that could be quite damaging because then further down the line, when you come unstuck, everyone's going to sort of point out, well, whoa, whoa, you, you assured us this was safe and things like that. And I think that kind of applies at all levels. I think another thing that, because you're kind of given, you're given a lot of intellectual authority as a data scientist and in these data roles, people think you're the smart ones. And you get, I hate it, but it gets banded around all the time. Oh, the clever guys <laughs> in data, blah, blah, blah. And then, and the challenge as well, if you're a bit charismatic, is that I can speak confidently about anything, right? I might not know the first thing about it, but I can just have a confident conversation about anything. If you've also given me intellectual authority because I'm a data guy, you're just going to believe me. That's a super dangerous place to be. So I'm really, and I think people need to be aware of that. It's really, it's like a superpower. If you get, if you get ready to put your hand up and say, that's not my thing. I don't know the first thing about that. I do it all the time at work. I go, don't know anything about that. That's not me. People just stop and they're like, oh, right. And, and it builds trust that when I do say I do know something, they they come on that journey with me. And you're not like hmm. that always right, but sometimes actually wrong person that's quite difficult to work with. You become a real asset to the team and you learn more as well. When someone goes, well, actually, no, I know that inside out and here's all the things you've missed.